All right, we're live. Hey there, everyone. Hitesh here, back again with another video. And welcome to this fantastic live stream sessions which we have started. So in case those who are early users of the channel or the subscribers, they know that previously we used to do the segment of Saturday Live, but I had to stop the Saturday Live just because there are now so much that I can bring in that Saturdays are not enough. So we need to go live whenever there's a chance, whenever there is somebody who is ready for it. So we'll be going through that. And again, so we have a lot of guests that are coming and I'm lucky to have so many guests on the channel who are pioneer in their field. Some of the people have 20 years of experience in writing the code. Some of the people who literally are the reason for starting the cybersecurity journey. So I'll be sharing a lot of my personal interaction uh, with our today's guest and probably he needs no introduction to people. If you have any time heard uh, something like Metasploit, uh, Cafe Latte Attack, a Wi-Fi penetration testing, anything related to all this, I don't think so you need an introduction from this. Also to share a fact that he is one of my first teacher who actually got me into the programming and in the video creation journey as well. Uh, so I don't think so there could be a better gift from my side to him than to bring him on this channel and uh, just have an interaction with them. So probably uh, the best Teacher's Day gift I can gift to my teacher as well. So without a further ado, I would like to bring in the man himself, the founder of uh, Security Tube YouTube channel, the Security Tube company, as well as Pentester Academy company, as well as now founder of SquareX, Really remarkable companies and great uh, trajectory of the career. So please meet uh, Vivek Ramachandran. Thanks, Hidesh. Thanks so much uh, for inviting me on the show. I mean, really appreciate all your kind words. Uh, and when you say, you know, I've been your teacher also makes me very dated. <laughs> but, uh, you know, hopefully I'll also continue to kind of like, you know, do interesting things and make videos and all that uh, moving forward. But yeah, thank you so much for having me on the show. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Let me just uh, add a uh, sir on to the next frame to us. So it's really a long journey for even for me. So obviously, you are the uh, way before the things was even the words like OGs and everything was created. You are probably dated back then. then. Uh, but again, uh, thank you so much for joining the stream. It has been fun. I'll be sharing some of the updates of how I constantly got connected with you because I'm pretty sure some of you are not even aware of those. Uh, but really, thank you so much for uh, being here. Uh, I would love to, uh, obviously everybody knows you, but uh, just to give them an update, uh, what are you doing cur currently and what was just the recent past of what you did? I think that will set the stage for us yeah so i think right now you know I'm, i've started this company squarex where we are really trying to solve uh, very difficult internet scale consumer security problems uh, i think probably later in the show you know whenever you feel it's the right time i can talk more about like what those challenges are and all of that uh, right before this you know after i sold pentester academy you might have seen that i did this hacker comic book in between uh, you know, hackers, you know, superheroes of the digital age, in which I specifically brought in an Indian hacker superhero character. And that was fantastic. You know, we did a print edition, vrncomics.com. Uh, we even gave out thousands of copies at Comic Con and in multiple other conferences and location. So that's what's been going on like for the past, I guess, one, one and a half years. Uh, that's nice. You were busy in the comics. I was also looking forward to get one of my hard copy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we, we will send it to you right uh, right after the show. We'll mail it to you, a bunch of copies for you and the team. Sure, sure. Okay, a couple of things to get started. So uh, I was just uh, saying uh, that, yes, I am one of your very early age student. Uh, you did only one offline training center in India or training uh, like seminar workshop in India. It was in IIT Roorkee. And I was among the very few students who actually got in and successfully got your certificate. You you put up a surprise Good. test and exam that I'm not going to give everybody certificate. Uh, let me take a test. <laughs> and <laughs> do you remember that you were that there at IIT Roorkee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it's it's incredible that you brought it up. And as you rightly said, I think if I remember, that was the year 2010, probably. Yeah. Probably 2009, 2010, somewhere around that time. And interestingly, what had happened is a few years back, I had started securitytube.net, which was 2007, I started putting out all the videos. And one of the folks who was visiting securitytube.net very frequently was Pratik Gyan Chandani, 
who was actually studying at IIT Roorkee. And so when IIT Roorkee's tech fest had happened, so then he messaged me saying, would you want to come down and do, you know, one of those hacking workshops uh, for uh, college students? So I thought about it and I was like, hey, you know what, why not? And that was the time I actually, I went down, you know, did the whole, if I remember it was like a two day class, couple of hours yes. each day. And, and then I remember some folks had told me, hey, give us a certificate. And I was like, hey, I'm not definitely not giving you guys a certificate <laughs> just because you attended. Uh, so I remember I had given like a problem which people had to solve and then I was moving around checking and then writing out certificates and whatnot. Yeah, very surreal. I mean, uh, almost uh, 14 years, I guess. No, I mean, I, it's uncanny that even you remember. Yeah, so I, I don't even remember the year yet. Uh, but to give you one more perspective of it, uh, during that time, I was not studying at IIT Roorkee. I had to travel from Jaipur to Roorkee to attend that. And oh, okay. I didn't had money to enroll for it earlier. So somehow I arranged it while working at a computer store, assembling the computers. Ooh, nice, nice. And then I went there and they didn't give me the seat. So Ooh, half okay. of the workshop, I had to just stand there and attend Ooh, it. Okay. okay, crazy, crazy. <laughs> yeah, uh, stuff, but I'm glad, stuff glad you made it like on day two. And, you know, uh, since then, there's been kind of like an amazing crisscross of journey and things that uh, you know both you and I have done in so education. how has been the online journey of content creation because you have moved away almost from it but if I remember yeah. there was a time when you you were the first one to utilize YouTube as an education platform especially for security you started right. security tube started posting a lot of videos there and yeah. when you moved it from onto the website uh, yeah. that was also a different move but when you introduced your first paid course I yeah. remember uh, you got upset. People had gone crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so how was that? How did you yeah. how did you deal up with these yeah. things? Like, like obviously everybody needs to earn money, but some people don't understand that I cannot do this always for free. I need to earn money. Uh, there is a bill pending for me as well. Yeah, you have been doing yeah. serving the community for so long, and when you started your first course, so how did you handle that kind of a hate? Correct, correct. So, so kind of going back, right? I think. Interestingly, the very first site I had created was way back in 2007, uh, which was actually securityfreak.net. So I used to work for this company called Airtight Networks, where I was a researcher. And that's where I had discovered the cafe latte attack, a bunch of stuff. And at that point, a lot of folks at Airtight used to ask me, hey, how do you do all of this? So I started making those videos, putting it up. Then I felt I needed to get a little bit more organized. So interestingly, you're right. YouTube, if I remember, had come in the horizon only around 2004, right? 2004, yeah. 2005. And YouTube wasn't even big in 2007, for what it's worth, right? They were just like mm -hmm. funny videos and all of that. Nobody was utilizing it for education. So the reason I created Security Tube was I said, okay, this is a YouTube, but for cybersecurity. Uh, so anyway, long story, kind of like short 2007, I start posting those videos, readership starts to increase, you know, people start to comment. Uh, and then I quickly realized that I couldn't do a full time job. Come back in the evening, like I used to be in Bombay, if I remember then, Bombay traffic, come back in the evening at 637, make myself food, and then start shooting, making videos till almost like 1am in the night. And then Again, wake up at six because you know Bombay traffic, right? I, If I recall, I used to take probably like trains, buses, mix of stuff to kind of get to wherever I was working. Uh, so given the readership, I actually started feeling like I wanted to do this full time because I used to then hate doing a job and then coming back to all of this, just like any other creator, right? But this was, to be honest, pre-influencer era, as you rightly said. Yeah. Uh, nobody was looking at building massive YouTube channels because there were no massive YouTube channels. These words didn't exist like influencer. They didn't, didn't exist. It. Didn't exist. And you won't believe the biggest reason, uh, unusually, that I started Security Tube and I was at that point not posting too many videos on YouTube is I was worried YouTube could take us down because they would have viewed us as hacking. Yeah. And I also felt like, okay, do I really want to build a brand on someone else's platform when they could take me down? And back then you couldn't have YouTube uh, paid subscriptions, none of that stuff, right? So if you put up something, it was basically free for all. Uh, so anyway, I started putting up some videos in YouTube, but then I said, okay, let's, let's do a paid service. Incredibly, all I said was my videos will be for free 
and yeah. if you want to take the certification exam only then you guys will probably have to pay uh but there was a massive furore where people were like oh you've sold out all you wanted to do was money and all of that i felt very sad because a, a lot of the good community friends that i had pointed fingers at me not realizing that i knew very well that if i didn't do this for a living i wouldn't be able to do this 2 3 years later right i mean as you start getting older you realize bills have to be paid and your parents aren't going to pay that forever <laughs> uh so how did i handle it i think first couple of days pretty restless pretty sleepless i used to keep checking the comments seeing you know what people are saying uh some of them very bitter comments people But can be I... absolutely mean on internet when they want to be usually there yeah. is a general support uh but correct. when they, they when they turn out into mean it can be a nightmare correct correct and even back in those days it was no exception to be frank uh you know now of course it's crazy uh, but back in those days it, it was bad as well so i guess finally i think what i made peace with i basically said look man given a choice between being able to do this still put out free videos but charge for something versus probably this whole project dying out where my passion would die out because i enjoyed teaching i said you know what it's okay i i guess i'm going to lose a few people but in the long term at least i don't lose my dream and and that is really how i kind of like continue trudge on and and started building uh, you know one thing after the other and after that to continue the journey uh, because this is a journey which i also lived along with you uh, virtually of yeah. course so after that you launched out a course which was